Imagine a world without computers. Difficult, isn't it? Well, that was the reality until a few decades ago. The journey of computers, from abacus to AI, is a fascinating tale of human ingenuity and innovation, a testament to our relentless pursuit of knowledge and efficiency. Our story begins in ancient times, when the earliest calculating devices emerged. The abacus, developed in Asia over 2,000 years ago, was used for basic arithmetic operations. Fast forward to the 17th century, when the mechanical era of computing began with inventions like Blaise Pascal's Pascaline and Gottfried Leibniz's stepped reckoner. These machines, though rudimentary by today's standards, were revolutionary in their ability to perform complex calculations. The 19th century saw the birth of the analytical engine, conceived by Charles Babbage, often regarded as the father of the computer. This machine, though never fully built, was designed to use punched cards to carry out calculations, and even had a form of memory. Ada Lovelace, a mathematician and writer, is credited with writing instructions for the analytical engine, making her the world's first programmer. The 20th century heralded the era of the electronic computer. The ENIAC, developed during World War II, was the first general-purpose electronic computer, capable of solving large numerical problems. The 1950s and 60s saw the advent of mainframe computers, followed by the rise of personal computers in the 70s and 80s. The dawn of the 21st century brought with it a new wave of advancements, with computers becoming increasingly powerful and compact. From bulky room-sized machines to sleek handheld devices, computers have undergone a radical transformation. Today, we live in the age of supercomputers and artificial intelligence, a far cry from the humble beginnings of the abacus. Buckle up as we delve into the fascinating journey of computer evolution. From the dawn of computing, through the mechanical and electronic eras, to the age of the internet and beyond, we'll explore how these incredible machines have shaped our world and continue to do so. Join us as we traverse through the captivating history of computers. The story of computers begins not with silicon, but with strings and beads. Let's take a journey back in time, long before the era of microprocessors, to when the first computing device was born, the abacus. This ancient tool, thought to have originated in Sumeria over 5,000 years ago, was a marvel of simplicity, yet functionality. It was a rudimentary device with rows of beads on strings, used to perform arithmetic calculations. The user would simply move the beads along the strings to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Despite its simplicity, it laid the groundwork for the concept of a machine that could assist in calculations, the very essence of a computer. As we leap forward to the 17th century, we encounter another significant milestone in the evolution of computing. A young French mathematician named Blaise Pascal found himself assisting his tax collector father in his work. The tediousness of the endless calculations inspired Pascal to invent a mechanical device to aid in this laborious task. In 1642, at the tender age of 19, Pascal introduced the world to the Pascaline often recognized as the first mechanical calculator. This device, a marvel of cogs and gears, was capable of adding and subtracting numbers up to eight digits long. It was a far cry from the abacus, but it represented a leap forward in the human quest to automate calculations. The Pascaline was a testament to human ingenuity, a tangible proof that machines could be designed to perform tasks previously reserved for the human mind. It marked a significant stride towards the development of computing, setting the stage for future inventors to push the boundaries of what machines could do. Little did these early pioneers know that their inventions would be the precursors to the digital revolution that would change the world as we know it. They couldn't have possibly imagined the profound impact their creations would have on future generations. But they had, quite unwittingly, sown the seeds of this revolution. The seeds of the digital revolution were sown unbeknownst to these early pioneers. Fast forward to the 19th century, when the term computer referred to a job title rather than a machine. The concept of computing was about to be revolutionized by a man named Charles Babbage. Babbage, an English mathematician, had a vision for a device he called the analytical engine. This would be a general purpose mechanical computer capable of performing any sort of calculation set before it. While the engine was never fully built in Babbage's lifetime, his detailed plans and models left an indelible mark on the history of computing. 
But Babbage's story is incomplete without mentioning a certain Ada Lovelace, an English mathematician and writer who is often credited as the world's first programmer. She saw potential in Babbage's engine beyond mere number crunching. Lovelace envisioned a machine that could create not just calculations, but also art and music, a machine that could think. Her notes on the analytical engine contain what is recognized as the first algorithm intended for implementation on a computer. Her foresight shaped the future of programming, demonstrating the creative possibilities of machines. As we move closer to the 20th century, another key player enters the scene, Herman Hollerith. He invented a punch card machine to tabulate census data for the United States in 1890. His invention was a remarkable feat of engineering that increased data processing speed and accuracy. Hollerith's punch card machine was a major advancement in the field of data processing, marking a significant leap towards modern computing. The 19th century was truly an exciting time in the history of computers. From Babbage's analytical engine to Lovelace's visionary programming and Hollerith's punch card machine, we see the genesis of the ideas that would eventually lead to the computers we know today. The era of mechanical computers paved the way for electronic computing. As the 20th century dawned, so did the age of electronic computing. It was a time when the world was recovering from the devastating effects of the Second World War, and technology was seen as a beacon of hope for a brighter future. In this era, a monumental development took place. The creation of the first electronic computer, the ENIAC, short for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. Completed in 1945, the ENIAC was a behemoth occupying a space as large as a room and weighing almost 30 tons. But despite its size, it was a marvel of its time, capable of performing thousands of calculations per second, a feat unheard of in the era of mechanical computing. Soon after, the UNIVAC and the EDVAC, successors to the ENIAC, came into being. The UNIVAC, or Universal Automatic Computer, was the first computer to be produced in quantity and sold commercially. It was less massive than the ENIAC and more efficient, marking a significant leap in the world of computing. The EDVAC, or Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer, on the other hand, introduced the concept of stored program computing, where the instructions to the computer were stored in its memory. This was a revolutionary idea that set the foundation for the way modern computers work today. In the midst of these advancements, Another groundbreaking invention came to light in 1947, the transistor. This tiny device, capable of amplifying or switching electronic signals, replaced the bulky and energy-consuming vacuum tubes used in the early computers. The transistor was smaller, faster, and required less power, making it a game-changer in the world of electronics and computing. These inventions, the ENIAC, UNIVAC, EDVAC, and the transistor, were not just technological marvels of their time, they were the building blocks of the modern computer. They marked the end of the era of mechanical computing and ushered in the age of electronic computing. These inventions set the stage for the computing revolution. The 1970s and 80s brought computers from the realm of government and big business into our homes. The late 20th century saw a seismic shift in computing as technology previously confined to the hallways of power found its way into everyday life. The personal computer revolution was underway and the world would never be the same. Two companies were pivotal in this revolution, Apple and IBM. In the late 1970s, Apple, a small company co-founded by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, introduced the Apple II, a machine that would set the standard for personal computing. It was user-friendly, relatively affordable, and for the first time, a computer that people could use in their homes. Meanwhile, IBM, a long-standing giant in business computing, recognized the potential of this new market and launched the IBM PC in the early 1980s. The IBM PC was a game-changer, combining the company's reputation for quality with the flexibility of a personal computer. But what's a computer without an operating system? The era also saw the birth of two key operating systems, MS-DOS and Windows. MS-DOS, or Microsoft Disk Operating System, was the brainchild of a young Bill Gates and his company, Microsoft. It was a simple, command-line-based system, but it brought personal computing to the masses. Windows, also developed by Microsoft, was a more user-friendly graphical operating system, and it would eventually become the most widely used operating system in the world. It was the window, 
pardon the pun, through which countless people would experience the power of personal computing for the first time. The personal computer revolution was about more than just technology. It was about empowerment and democratization. Computers were no longer the exclusive domain of scientists and businesses. They were for everyone. They transformed work, play, communication, and much more. The personal computer revolution didn't just change how we use technology, it changed how we live. It was a whirlwind of innovation and creativity that reshaped society in profound ways, and its impact is still being felt today. The personal computer transformed society in ways that are still being felt today. The advent of the internet marked a new era in the history of computing. The World Wide Web, developed in the early 90s by Tim Berners-Lee, was the catalyst that would change the world forever. It was a revolutionary concept, allowing documents and resources to be linked by hypertext and accessed through the internet. The web, as we fondly call it, became the universal information highway, connecting people and places in ways never imagined before. Then came Google in the late 90s, a brainchild of Larry Page and Sergey Brin. It started as a research project at Stanford University and soon revolutionized the way we search for information. Google's unique algorithm, PageRank, sorted web pages based on relevance and quality of content. It wasn't long before Google became synonymous with internet search, making information accessible and useful to everyone. As the new millennium dawned, so did the era of social media. Platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram redefined human interaction, communication, and even business marketing. These platforms have transformed the way we share, consume, and perceive information, turning our world into a global online community. The influence of smartphones and tablets cannot be overlooked in this digital transformation. These devices have made the internet portable, enabling instant access to information, communication, and entertainment. Today, we can order food, hail a cab, manage finances, or even diagnose an illness with just a few taps on a screen. The internet has also been instrumental in the development of cloud computing, artificial intelligence, and other technological advancements. It has democratized access to information, bridged cultural gaps, and has been a powerful tool for social change. The internet has made the world a global village, and the journey of computers continues. The technology that began as a simple tool for calculation is now an integral part of our daily lives, shaping our society in profound ways. As we look to the future, one can only wonder what the next chapter in the history of computing holds for us. From the humble abacus to the powerful supercomputer, the journey of computers is a testament to human ingenuity. Let's take a moment to reflect on this incredible journey we've just traveled, a journey that spans centuries and continents and encompasses some of the greatest minds in history. It all began with the dawn of computing, where simple counting devices like the abacus and the Antikythera mechanism laid the groundwork for what was to come. From there, we moved into the age of mechanical computers, a time when the likes of Charles Babbage and Ada Lovelace made significant strides in automated computation. Their designs and concepts, though not fully realized in their lifetimes, were pioneering in their own right and paved the way for future innovations. The birth of the modern computer came next, a period marked by the development of electronic computing machines. This era introduced us to Alan Turing, John von Neumann, and many others who made invaluable contributions to the field. Their work led to the creation of the first general purpose computers, forever changing the landscape of technology and society. The personal computer revolution followed, democratizing access to computing power. Companies like IBM and Apple brought computers into our homes and offices, making them an indispensable part of our daily lives. The advent of the internet then further expanded the capabilities of these machines, connecting us in ways previously unimaginable. And here we are, in the age of supercomputers, cloud computing, and the internet of things. We've seen computers shrink from room-sized behemoths to pocket-sized powerhouses, and their influence permeates every facet of our lives. As we stand on the edge of quantum computing and artificial intelligence, one can only wonder what the future holds for computers. But if history is any guide, we can expect that the journey ahead will be just as fascinating, groundbreaking and full of surprises as the journey we've just recapped. So here's to the future and to the unending quest for knowledge and innovation that drives us forward. Thank you for taking this journey through computer history with us. 
It's quite a ride, isn't it? From the dawn of computing to the age of the internet and beyond, every twist and turn in this timeline is a testament to human innovation and resilience. We hope you found this informative and engaging. If so, do us a favor and hit that like button. It lets us know that we're on the right track and helps us bring more content like this to you. And of course, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Got a favorite era in computer history? Or maybe a prediction for the future of computing? Drop a comment below. We're always eager to dive into discussions and learn from your insights. Lastly, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel. We've got a lot more fascinating journeys through history lined up for you. Until next time, keep exploring the fascinating world of computers.